sweet souls. Happy Saturday, um, September 4th. Um, this will be your full length reading on YouTube. If you're interested in a private reading, you can email me and I'll forward the information. I heard this song and I, I don't care if you're interested in, in country or not, I want you to listen to it. It's by Martina McBride and it's called Wrong Again. I'm going to turn it up. I ask the Holy Spirit, angels and saints, what message you need for your greater good. looks like you guys have an offer coming in. This was someone that you walked away from or they walked away from you in the past. Um, this person is now wanting to reconnect. There has been absolutely no communication or limited communication between you. They see you as someone that can make them happy, that they can build a stable life with. You are their only option. This person wants um, a passionate beginning with you. They're tired of waiting. They know they didn't listen to the divine in the past, which caused them to be heavily burdened, and now they're dropping that burden because it only caused them heartbreak. They're leaving all deception in the past to come forward and offer you this cup of love because you are their wish fulfillment. They refused your love in the past. They refused their empress. They didn't see you. They didn't see you, but they do now. They see you as their happiness. You are the lady of luxury. They see your value now. They see your worth. You are standing in your power, not needing anyone. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on your career. You're focused on healing from every person in your entire life that ever disappointed you. You're taking your power back. They know you're a soulmate to them. Let me show you this, guys. Two soulmate cards side by side. They know that you are their soulmate. They ghosted you. They left you out in the cold. They made you feel like an option. And that made them feel stuck because ever since they did that, things have gone downhill for them. Mm, yeah. They experienced karma because they weren't listening to their intuition. Um, they were imbalanced because they refused to listen to the, to the calling that the divine was giving them. They're trying to manifest you because they see you. They see you in your power. They see you as strong and very intuitive. Oh. See. Yeah, this person wants to rush in and have a reunion. They're trying to gain control of their life, do the healing work that they refused to do in the past. And they know that you are the one that makes them happy and that they want to have a stable home with. They're filled with so much anxiety and worry that you will not accept them. They want to give equally now. They don't want it to end. They don't. Even though they sabotaged it in the past, they don't want it to end because they love you. They know they love you. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, you're their divine counterpart. King and Queen of Cups, loving, nurturing, empathetic. They're turning their back on the past to have victory, to move towards you. They are ready to fight to be in this relationship. 
because you are their twin flame soulmate and they know that now. They didn't give you a stable offer in the past because they didn't see what you were. They didn't see what you were. They were in player energy and they just, mm, they, they weren't being honest with themselves. And it put them in a state of confusion. You know, you're not waiting for this person. You waited and waited and waited. And you're not going to wait. They have to level up and come forward correctly or you're going to move on and the divine will bring you another soulmate. But this is divinely guided passion you're beginning with this person. And, you know, they do. They watch you constantly. That's all they do is watch you. That's all they do is watch you. They want to be grounded and stable for you. Um, they are very passionate for you. And you are a wish fulfillment to them. And they know that. No one else can bring them happiness or stability like you. They want to rush in. They want to move forward. Um, they have been deeply wounded in their past, which has caused a lot of these self-sabotaging behaviors. But all they do is think about you. That's all they do. They can't stop. They want to. They tried to move on. They tried to find someone else. But no one was the Queen of Pentacles. All of the people that they connected with were karmics. They weren't stable. They just caused them more pain. So this person had to go in hermit mode, self-reflective mode, to figure out what in the heck is wrong. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Yeah. So they know they want to give you this offer. They feel trapped and confused right now in this situation that they're in. Their heart's been guarded. They know they've been toxic. This has been illuminated to them by the divine. They can't be in that toxic pattern to come toward a divine feminine. It won't work. And they know they can't. Yeah, they want to put in the work now and they have so much regret. They have, they're in so much pain because of their behavior. And they don't know if you will take them back. They want a reunion and they're trying to heal. But they don't know if you're going to take them back. They do see as very beautiful. Very independent and driven. Yes, they want this new cycle to begin with you because they see you as the world. They're trying to have strength to come forward. They want to apologize to you. They have never let you go. Not ever. You know, they're also seeing other people in their environment for who they are. And they realize that they followed the wrong advice. And it's caused them a lot of regret. Um, they want to find balance in their life. They want to come forward, have a committed relationship with you. Like I said, you've waited a long time. And now you're in your sword energy. Like, you know what? I've waited so long. And all you did was make me an option and choose everyone else but me. So this person is really going to have to prove themselves in order to gain your trust again. Because if they don't come correct, if they can't prove that they are not a player anymore, that they're not going to run, that they're not going to ghost, you're not going to have them in your life. But they want to take this leap of faith. They want to have this rebirth with you. It's up to you guys. Um, you know, I would say use your intuition. This person wants to prove to you that that they um, can be a better person, that they're not in that dark energy, then allow them to prove it. Otherwise, no. This person is receiving advice from someone that is helping them understand that um, they do have love for you. They do have love for you. They do want a reunion, and they know that they need to be stable and grounded and secure for you. Yeah. They have been silent. They've been silent. And they've been waiting. And you know what? If they wait any longer, it's going to be too late. They've been trying to juggle so many things in their life. And they're not placing priority on what they need to. Okay? Um, you guys keep focusing on you and your creative endeavor, endeavors because you will be recognized for that. Um, just focus on your career. Focus on loving you, being the best version of you. And let the divine take care of the rest. Yeah. Standing alone being proud and confident, knowing who you are and not needing anyone. And that's what the divine wants you to do. This person has lessons they need to learn and it's on them to learn them. You are the empress. You are the empress and you're not going to tolerate any deceptive energy in your environment. You're not. You're not going to tolerate it. You've already been through too much. You know, this person is at a crossroads. But that's for them to figure out. That's for them to figure out. They do want to move forward, though. They do. They can't help the spiritual pull to you. 
that's all they do is think about you. And you guys know this. You are the high priestess. So you know that this person is spiritually connected to you. You know this person thinks about you all the time because you feel their energy. And this person knows you are in your power. Yes, you're releasing your past, no matter who it is. If they don't come correct, you're releasing. You're done. This person is trying to release their past as well. They see you as very loving, empathetic, kind, and they want to rush in. They want to rush in and give you this offer, a, a passionate new beginning. Um, you're standing your ground. You're setting your boundaries. You're you're saying, look, you're going to come at me. So you're going to come at me correctly, not as a player, um, but someone that wants to be grounded and stable, that wants a committed relationship because I have no tolerance for dealing anything with anything less. This person has been trapped in their head. Once again, that's on them. They have to learn that lesson. We can't fix anyone else. It was hard enough healing ourselves. But you know what? Magic is alive in your life. What you think will manifest into reality, this person is manifesting you. You also have some, some financial abundance coming your way because of all the good that you've put out in the world. For all the people that have taken you for granted, that have caused you so much suffering, that did not go unnoticed, you are about to be rewarded for all of it. So don't stay up at night and don't worry about it, okay? You know the divine has you. You know this person that's coming in also has sleepless nights because of their choices. They're going through a transformation, a spiritual ascension, but they're going to find the courage to come forward and offer their cup of love because they can't not. It's just, it's becoming unbearable. They are going through awakening, like I said. They can see from a different perspective everything now. Yeah, they've been in hermit mode. They've been isolating, trying to stay away from people because um, they're healing. They are your divine counterpart. Very loving, trustworthy. Maybe they weren't in the past, but their energy now is grounded, trustworthy. Or at least that's the energy that they're going to be at. They know you have options. They do. You are a wish fulfillment, and wishes are coming true in your life. If it's not this person leveling up, it's someone else. You are about to be blessed in a big way. And you deserve it. Complete happiness. I don't think we need to go any further than this, guys. Complete happiness. That's what you have coming. Surrender control. Do some guided meditation. If you feel any barriers, do some guided meditation. Um, allow yourself to release it. The new moon's on the 6th of September. Write down what it is that you want to release. Also, what it is you want to call into your life. Believe that it's already yours. You guys have amazing things coming. Complete happiness. Wish fulfillment. Um, someone that's going to love you the way you deserve. I love you guys. Happy Saturday. Bye-bye.